What's up YouTube, Smoking Deck 5280 for Couch Jockey Gaming and Gamer to Gamer and today I'm taking a look at some more Grand Theft Auto and I'm going to show you where I like to go cruising at night in this to go pick up rare um, pick up rare cars, cars that you can't find, cars that you can't buy and cars that are already modified. They come with all the um, they come with the cosmetic upgrades like rims, they're lowered um, just different stuff like that. Spoilers, maybe the front grill, custom bumpers, all the cosmetic shit that you don't want to have to spend money on. So what you do is you come down to this area here, um, kind of down in the ghetto, and you want to drive up and down this street. And you can see it took me about 10 minutes of driving up and down this street before I noticed this, um, the Karin Futo, um, the GT. Now you'll see this car running around a lot, and to tell if it's a GT, one, it'll say GT right on the grill. I love how these gangsters don't even notice me standing there. It'll say GT on the grill, and then back underneath the rear right tail light, it'll also say inline 20V written in yellow. You also notice it's got the racing steering wheel, and the first thing these guys do when I come to grab it is they pull me out and they kill me. But after you spawn back in, they were all gone, and you just got to go grab the car. I mean, you spawn in, what, 30 yards away from it? So you just... You can see, come on in, run over, grab the car, take it all the way down to um, the mod shop. And here we are. You can see, I've got it highly customized at this point, but it already came with custom wheels. It came lowered. It came with a spoiler on the back. Um, there's the inline 20V sticker, so you know that this is the GT. And this little car is fun as shit to drive and fast as shit to drive. And so, definitely check it out. The next one I'm going to go pick up in this area, and this one took me a little bit of running around to get, or driving up and down the street for a little while to get. This one here is the Vapid Peyote, um, and this one here is the baller gang member, gang leader's car. But this one comes with the upgraded bumper, that sick purple paint already done on it. It's got upgraded rims. It's got the front bumper. It's got the rear bumper done. It's got cheetah, excuse me, not cheetah. It's got the leopard print seats, and it's also got the um, the little placard in the back that says Los Santos, the the little low rider sign that sits up in that where that back window would be. But this car just looks sick as hell driving around. I mean, this thing is completely pimped out. So. Definitely, definitely, if you're looking for either a sports classic or, or that little compact sports car or this classic car, definitely cruise around in this neighborhood after 8 o'clock at night. And I have found when looking for the other vehicles and stuff, if you take a vehicle you stole from the area, usually it won't pop another one for you. You need to take either one that didn't come from that area or even just a car you steal off the street that's not worth anything. But I wouldn't take this car back down into that neighborhood to keep looking for more cars. But that is how, for this area, after 8 o'clock at night, how you pick, how you find and pull rare cars. You'll also find them just driving up and down that street all through the night. The main thing is you just have to drive up and down, up and down, and wait for these gangbangers to bring you some nice cars to try to steal from them. Other than that, once you get them, you just got to take them to the mod shop Los Santos Customs and see what you got see what it's equipped with and put it in your garage and have fun with the damn thing if not if you don't need it most of these cars do sell for quite a bit of money I know the muscle cars that I'm doing the next video on sell for like 20 grand a pop so even if you don't want the cars and you need some extra money finding these cars is a good way of getting that extra cash but that'll do it for this video thanks for watching guys if you liked the video give us a thumbs up um, for more videos, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not part of the Gamer to Gamer community on Google+, check the link in the description below. A lot of good stuff on that community. A lot of good people talking about a lot of fucking video games. Um, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.